What's a great way to celebrate Labor Day? Pump out a Labor Day playlist, of course. Details coming up. Hi, I'm Michael Douglas. Welcome to this edition of Dr. Pundit, where we talk about music, not medicine. And this is Labor Day week in 2024, and it's a great episode in which I debut yet another feature on Dr. Pundit called Some Random Playlist. And the inaugural playlist for this episode is my special Labor Day 2024 playlist. You know, I love a themed playlist, and why not use this one? And in no particular order, I've got 10 great songs that uh, I actually just made a Spotify playlist for, and um, let's get into it. So up first is 9 to 5, the number one hit song from 1980 by Dolly Parton. The movie stars Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin. And, you know, this is the typical get revenge on your boss movie, uh, kind of in the vein of take this job and shove it. It's one of the few Billboard hits to feature the clacking of a typewriter. That's track number one. I guess, if I'm putting in the order of the playlist. The next track I want to talk about on this Labor Day, Laboring, She Works Hard for the Money by Donna Summer, a number three hit from 1983, a number one R&B hit. One of the biggest hits of this sensation's career. This song is all about working hard and playing harder. Pro tip, check out the video. It's awesome. Going in the vein of Labor Day, Working for a Living by Huey Lewis and the News. That song peaked at number 41 in 1982, and it's the perfect work labor type song. And this 80s tune shouts out to all the people from busboys to bartenders doing whatever they have to do to survive. A classic labor type track. The next track, Money by Pink Floyd from 1973 and the classic Dark Side of the Moon album. And this song is considered one of the greatest guitar tracks of all time. Enough said. Money is what ties it to Labor Day. This next one, Taking Care of Business, top 15 hit from 1974 by BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive. This song, of course, has been used in hundreds of advertising campaigns, films, TV shows. It's a true American classic. Nothing gets more American on Labor Day than that track. Working for a Weekend by Loverboy, another 80s hit. This song keeps his eye on the prize. Friday to Sunday night partying. That's right. Taylor made for this weekend. Next track, Opportunities, Let's Make Lots of Money, a top 10 hit by Pet Shop Boys from 1986. You know, the irony of this UK classic is that it pokes fun of, you know, at those who think they're going to make lots of money and they don't. An ode to its punk rock roots and mentality. Opportunities, Let's Make Lots of Money. Next track, Back on the Chain Gang, a number five smash from 1983 by The Pretenders. This song has been covered by countless musicians. That in and of itself makes it a classic. And of course, The Chain Gang, working on The Chain Gang, laboring, Labor Day. Get the connection? A uh, little known chart fact about this song, Selena, the slain Spanish singer from the 1990s, actually covered this song as well. Working Class Hero by John Lennon, John Lennon's first post-Beatles solo album featured this single about working class individuals being processed into what he considered the machine. Kind of ironic since he was really bathing in the money at that time, but you know, this is a political song and I guess you should take it as such on this weekend. That's my tie-in with that song to Labor Day. And finally, from 1964, the number one hit by the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. You could say that about any night of the year in which you're just toiling, pouring over whatever you have to to get the job done and to beat the deadline. That is my Labor Day playlist. Ten tracks, no particular order. The first of, I think, a lot of great shows on Dr. Pundit about some random playlist. Might as well be this one. I'm Michael Douglas, and if you like what you see here on Dr. Pundit, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. And as one of the hardest working men in showbiz, R&B, music, soul music throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, who sadly has passed away, Barry White always used to say, let the music play, and I'll see you on the next episode.